Hey everybody, it's Rob from Flail Thews. This is Gundam Battle Operation 2, and this is just me in my GOG in the submarine colors, because, uh, yeah, I bought this MS in action off my friend XB like 20 years ago, and uh, I just always liked the color scheme, so... And I didn't, I couldn't think of any other requests or anything that I had the right suits for at this cost, but uh, didn't want to waste a good military port queue. It's like I said, it's been a while since I saw those, so... Yeah, GOG is basically a melee monster. It has some ranged options, but they're not super powerful. They're just to let you get in more than anything. And uh, it is hard to stun and basically hard to stop unless you, d unless you get a downswing in. And since it has me uh, melee priority 3, yeah, getting your downswing in is going to uh, require timing. Uh, GBO, uh, GBO 1, I was pretty good at tripping gogs and uh, taking them out. And on a good day I can, but I feel like it's, it has gotten a little bit harder. Uh, but speaking of, let's see, yeah, managed to uh, swipe down that uh, uh, gym command shield and uh, hit it with... Uh, for 2100 afterwards it is down in the water and that is where I do uh, where the gog does its best work so because yeah ah it's it's kind of a, uh, a slow it's kind of a slow uh, beast but when you're in the wa uh, water with things that get uh, speed penalties and you get a speed boost it kind of helps even that playing field a little bit as you can probably tell from just how uh, fast I was jumping there but, because, yeah, I feel like on the ground, even uh, the GOG even jumps slow. But I probably used this setup before, possibly even on this map, but I just had a half-decent round and felt like running it, so what the heck. Also, again, like I said, I've been trying... Yep, the downswing scoops upwards, so was able to get that uh, gun cannon MPT while it was above me and then finish it off with another one. But, yeah, uh... Let's see, again, I feel like this is probably the best map for early base bombing. That's what the enemy team is doing anyway. Scores are fairly even at the moment. That will give them an advantage. Managed to swipe that gym to death. And... Ah, trying to... Uh, yep, got it. Okay, yeah, got the pilot. So no backup for uh, them at the base. Not that we're actually uh, trying to deal with our base bomb, which, again, I frequently feel, especially at the beginning of the match, is uh, the right move just focus on picking off the enemies uh, one by one, because the uh, rest of the enemy team did kind of let themselves get split up pretty hard, so uh, the Marine Zaku took a lot of damage from me, and I should be able to finish it right now. Yep. Yeah, I I, I tend to well, you've seen me. I, I tend to go for haymakers with my melee anyway, and with the GOG I feel like that's an even more uh, valid strategy, just because, yeah, if you can get that one big swing in, you can do just huge damage. Like this. Yeah, 5100 on that gun cannon MPT. So, obviously less to generals, unless it's a general with, like, super, super low melee defense, which they do happen. But, yeah, that uh, Aqua Gym missed its, uh, missed its, uh, heat rod anchor thing, which I believe will interrupt the GOG. I think it may uh, be downgraded to a stun instead of a heavy stagger. I'm not 100% sure on that. It may not be. But regardless, it's, uh, it's a thing. I'm surrounded, though, so and almost out of health. So we'll just have to see. I can probably get it. Yeah, I can get about that far on that much health. Five, five on one. If, if I'd had more boost, I might have been able to get in uh, closer and do something to somebody. Maybe. Probably not. I probably just would have gotten shot to pieces like I just did. We've got three of the four uh, uh, f uh, four uh, checkpoints, beacons, whatever you want to call them. Uh, and with three minutes 45 left, we have got we're 700 points down. That's two kills, basically. A little more than, but you know, with assist factored in, it's basically two kills. So we can we can do that, especially if I can get my big pointy mitts on that gun cannon again, which I'm certainly going to try see that is some kind of general that they have their own gog that's the first time i think we've met but yeah i managed to swing right through that uh aqua gym no problem and there's the enemy gog which just wasted its tackle which means i'm up and big swing it's on the ground teammate will probably finish it nope i got it good and 
And here is, I think, I'm not sure what that is. Is it another, ah, oh, it's that gym command again. It's using the beam gun, so it's at this cost, which I'm pretty sure is 300. It almost has to be the gym command. I tackled through that because it was a downswing, otherwise I wouldn't have had to care. Uh, let's see, that is somebody's suit, probably the person who just called for support fire. My health is getting low, but the gun cannon kind of made the mistake of alerting me to its presence, so... And then wasting its tackle, so, yeah. It's gonna take a lot of damage, even if they did manage to kill me while I was dealing it. And we have managed to, uh, ma uh, make up our point deficit, so yeah, we're 200 points in the lead now. Zaku Marine type finished me off. That makes sense. That's some. I think it can probably stun a Gog with all the missiles it has if they all hit. Uh, so yeah, there there are options. Um, the best one, of course, uh, to stun a Gog even out of its uh, maneuver armor is a shotgun. But I don't think uh, anybody on the enemy team has one. Uh, the Afrit series does come in at 300, so they very well could. But I, if they have, if they have one, I haven't met it yet. So. But I... Ah, brain, come on. I probably should play a little bit of defense here. Just keep an eye on our supports, because we've got two of them, and they do have a GOG of their own. So I can... If I can uh, get it to waste its tackle, I can outfight an enemy GOG relatively easily. So I just have to uh, be careful there. Let's see, number five says finish them off. It's good advice if we can get a shot in. And there's the gun cannon, so yeah, I'm, I'm obviously going for that, especially since it just wasted its tackle again. Sometimes you do the desperation tackle just to get yourself out of the enemy's line of fire, and if your teammates are on the ball, and if you have, you know, a plan for afterwards, it did not use its tackle, and I got hit pretty hard. Uh, but yeah, if, if you have a plan for what happens after you tackle, you can make it work sometimes. There are times when the desperation tackle is useful. And there are times when it's really not. And that downswing took down the GOG and the DOM, but... Okay, no, it didn't take down the GOG, but it did do the damage. I think it tackled away, and the damage uh, kicked in right before the iframes. And that is going to be the end of that Marine Zaku, I do believe. Yep, not by my hand, but... Uh, yeah, we've got a thousand point lead. Somebody else, I think, just lost their mobile suit, but... Uh, yeah, there's somebody up there, and they're fairly low on health, so I can hopefully take some shots. Oh, it's the gun cannon. I can definitely take some shots. Or I can just move in, because, uh, because, yeah, that's my job. Smashing the supports. And or fending off the enemy raid uh, when they go after supports. I, I feel like that can be part of the raid's job, especially on this map, especially, you know, gog to gog, which, again, it just used its, uh, it just used its, uh, tackle. I just used mine, too. But I should have uh, I should have gone for the downswing first thing there instead of just the neutral. I forgot neutrals don't stun a gog. But that's the round, and I think we did fairly well, and I did okay. So, uh, 2,780 out of our 7,070 points. I did 88,000 damage, and uh, what was the final body count? It was. Let's see. Oh, I already praised that person. Okay, I'll praise the next one. Eight to two. I'd say that's pretty solid. So. That is going to do it for today's Gundam Battle Operation 2. We'll be back soon with more. Till next time, everybody take care and have fun. Later! I honestly don't feel like the GOG needs much in the way of help, but I'd love to see them uh, introduce some variation on the Freezy Yard. You know, maybe just something that blocks missiles the way the uh, Moon Gundam and New Gundam have their respective weird little shields. You know, just yeah, just give it a little defense field that uh, that blocks, you know, light projectiles or something. That would be fun.